Welcome friends. I'm really, really excited to welcome you to Enlightenment 2. This means you've made it through the uh, rather intense Enlightenment 1, the basics, the essence. And so your sense of identity has by now shifted from predominantly at least, doesn't mean nothing ever comes up for you anymore. It simply means that predominantly your sense of identity has shifted from the feeling I am this body-mind, I am this personality inside of an actual dense physical external separate world to a way more conscious, a way more alert, a way more present sense of self, which is that of the greater self or the manifest self with capital S. And you now feel much more that you are the presence, that you are the presence consciousness, which perceives all that comes and goes, which endures throughout all that comes and goes. You feel like you can identify yourself as the substratum of creation, as the presence energy that makes up all forms rather than just one locale, one physical location, one idea of yourself. Now it includes everything that comes up for you. All thoughts, all emotions, all parts of your personality, they now are all included in your sense of self, in your sense of I am. So for Course 2, uh, Enlightenment 2, we will go uh, one step further in terms of the subtlety of your realization. And we take the sense of I am away from the M, away from the sense of presence, and into an even subtler state, into an even finer state of self-realization, which is that of the unmanifest self, or the free agent, the ultimate free agent, or free awareness, or free will, which we'll get into all those subtleties later on. But you will start shifting your sense of identity from I am presence, or presence beingness, and it will become more free. It will become more like emptiness beingness or spaciousness beingness. So you can liken this onto the analogy of H2O. For example, the I am this, the sense I am this is the state of H2O, the state of being of H2O of being really dense, that of ice, for example. And so ice can be thrown around, it can break, it's solid, it can't move, it can't really change. It seems like it's this linear, solid thing. Now, so we took that sense of I am this and we transcended that into the sense. We, in a sense, increased your frequency so that the molecules of the I started melting. And now it became the sense I am. And the sense I am, in a sense, almost feels like water, you know, like the presence energy of all that is. Almost has some quality similar to water, similar to that intuitive sense of presence, which is sort of melted into everything else. That is great. However, there's an even subtler, even freer state of H2O, which is if you increase your frequency in that sense even higher of the molecules, it turns into steam. And steam is very ingraspable. It's very subtle, it's very fine, but it's also very free. And it can surround water. It can even, to an extent, pervade water. So. It's not as bound by limitation, again, as water is, let alone as ice is. So we'll get into the subtleties of um, awareness, and this is where things get interesting in terms of the lessons. The lessons will all hit these sort of finer differences between presence and awareness. And I remember earlier on in my journey when I would simply lump these two together, because that's usually what teaching, self-realization oriented teachings, in my experience, um, promote or do. They just sort of lump everything together as, oh, it's just all one presence. Well, that's not necessarily inaccurate in some ways. It is not as precise as I'd like to be. And at some point I discovered that there definitely is a feeling sense difference between these different states of the same one thing of the same H2O, it has different modes of being. And one definitely feels different and comes with different realizations and different perspectives of life than the other states of that same one being. So <clears throat> through some meditation and some exercises and some explanations throughout this course, I will allow you to very clearly distinguish and feel into the subtle, finer states of the unmanifest self so that you can realize that you're not just the I am, 
you're actually the I, which is even free, if it needs to be, even free from the sense of M. And so it will feel very empty, very spacious, very free. Also, this sets you up for the infinity teachings, if you feel so inclined to follow these after this course. Um, because that is all about going from the sense of awareness and waking up to infinity, waking up to what's even beyond awareness in that sense. So this is both the culmination in a sense or the, um, the subtlest of the enlightenment teachings, even though we go into the inseparability aspect, the non-duality aspect in enlightenment three, but that has more to do about merging yourself, like seeing that there is no separation and we're emphasizing that. But in terms of the subtleties of the states, enlightenment too will address the sense of awareness purely by itself, which then sets you up to really jump beyond that in the infinity teachings. So I hope you enjoy, and thanks for making it this far already.